Here Brian Thompson at the John Don CAD. Hey everybody, I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about the new VersaClean system. Uh, the VersaClean system is comprised of two main units. One is for carpet. The Versa carpet has a rotary extraction head. Some of you may recognize this from our, our Haas. This is a different head that's on my Haas, yeah. different shoe. Yeah, this, Why this, is that? this shoe here we found instead of the, the rounded shoe, the flat shoe actually gave us better contact fuller contact against the carpet for deeper extraction. On flat commercial right, carpet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is this you Teflon still, or UHMW? Uh, this is Feels a like UH, UH. Yeah, yeah, UHMW. And so we have the, the five shoes along with the five individual spray bars that injects the solution into the carpet. So we get a deeper... Still somewhat staggered. Yep, yeah. deeper cleaner. Uh, so if you were to multiply the revolution, the RPMs, by the number of cleaning heads, it, it equals 700 cleaning pass per minute, okay? Do you know what it equals in flow compared to a, uh, on, a six flow wand? Uh, this this we're we're at 0 0.06 gallons per minute flow is what we're doing with a standard uh, hook up to a sink or to a janitor's closet. Um, if we if we wanted to vary the flow down, we do have a pressure regulator that that limits it down to 40 psi. It's not necessary. But if you wanted to limit well, the regulators flow, inside the water hookup, it is right. Mm -hmm. oh. So we can That's either adjustable. Do, uh, this is a straight uh, 40 psi. Yeah, we've okay. seen one like that. Yeah, yeah. So if that was what you wanted to do, if you wanted to limit the water source, so we have water coming in and wastewater being pumped out uh, off of a hose hookup that would go to uh, a janitor's closet or any sink. So the the Red line is going to be your water feed to the machine. Your clear That's line is your out. wastewater back to your dump site, right? So there's no onboard heater. So you're no. just using hot water from the. That's correct. Mm -hmm. and this is your pre-sprayer, right? So on the back of the machine, we have an onboard chemical system. Uh, this step one HD is your pre-spray that'll come out of your wand here. Are you going to refill right this, or are you just going to buy one? No, and stick you, it, on it there? comes into uh, pints, and then you have your little view window here that you can see when you need to replace it. Okay, so it's and how a, long will that last? Uh, it, you know, it depends on the operator, but we're seeing uh, applications of about to 2, 2,500 square feet per pint. So it's it's very economical. Pint. So, that's a quart. Or excuse me, per quart. Okay. Um, so that's your pre-spray, and then your rinse comes through as you're cleaning. The rinse is where it goes through about the same amount. Yes, and okay. this would be this. They're they're, they're both metered with a, a DEMA metering system mm -hmm. in here, and then this would be your acidic rinse that you would run through to neutralize, or if you wanted to change it to a uh, encapsulating rinse, you could put a, a encapsulating rinse through there. So this this is a, what, a somewhat high alkaline, right, typical this, commercial degrees. Exactly. That's what your HD is for your heavy okay. duty. Then we have step one that's a normal. Uh, and you would just change out this cap to a different yep. pre-spray. You just pull it straight out here. You got a little filter on there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are proprietary chemicals for the VersaClean system. Probably altered the run with tepid water right yeah and we we actually even have a certified green line as well so if they're doing uh, lead certified buildings uh, you have a, a full green line of companies. okay so this is your versa carpet now on the show the filter arrangement right? here okay so we have a waste basket inside so now we can catch all of our heavy debris mm -hmm. and what's the capacity on the and and the capacity is really not a oh, just all pump out exactly there you go so it's not an actual capacity that you would use and then dump but let's say you just wanted to do a hundred feet could you fill this up and rely on either side to go do a hundred feet or no or well, is this all always... this is all waste right yes so there's but... no fresh storage no exactly None. so you, you always hook up. have to be hooked up exactly right or you bring along this uh the versa looks port. like a saddle yeah, Versa support. It's a portable water system. It can be wheeled into wherever you need it. The way this works is for site-specific cleaning, where you want to be cleaning in just a specific area. Is that 30 gallons? 35. Uh, you have fresh water. This is our suction hose for our pump. So you have a bladder inside here. Uh -huh. This is where your fresh water fills in. And so waste will go around it? That's correct. So this is your suction hose, which will then suck the water out. 
there's a, a small pump in here, pumps it to the machine through the, the hose connections. Then the wastewater then is sucked back or pumped back into the tank. So it's a 35 gallon fresh water. Two 110s? Yep. You gotta run both? Yes, you do. Okay. So 35 fresh water capacity, 35 gallon wastewater um, storage. The uh, unit, which I like, has. Well, what the heck's that? We have breakers right up front here. The reason this is important is that if you're in a commercial building, 2 a.m. in the morning, you blow a breaker, that's a major issue. This is going to keep us from blowing any breakers at hmm. the box. Okay? So we've got breakers there. Wait, where do, we do those, to, where do these plug into? Okay, so this, here's what you do. You're going to plug this into your wall, because with your, with your... Into a wall? Right the, here. No, no, which sure. wall? Here, they come with so extension cords, exactly. I see. Okay. <laughs> the standard equipment comes with two 50-foot heavy gauge extension cords, okay? So we have two 12-gauge extension cords, right? That's a vacuum mandrel. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. So, so it comes standard with the two 50-footers, which we'll plug in here. These will go to your machine. We have two here, okay? Okay. These go to your machines, okay? Because the first 50 feet has an electrical power cord. Any of the additional sections up to 200 feet, you don't need that electrical. They'll just have your fresh water, your wastewater dump. Okay. So I can hook them up in 50 foot increments up to 200 feet away. All right. So this is this is uh, giving you the ability to clean commercially where a truck mount won't go, uh, or a portable is just not uh, effective. High rise, high security, mm -hmm. wherever. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, most people are familiar with the with the spinner head. Here. That's there's no changes in the head no, design. This is a turbo head. Regular. Okay. You can so, put the brush ring if you, you want. You got it. So it okay. comes with a brush ring. We've got quick disconnects here, pins, cutter pins, so we can easily drop the head down. Three screws there, separate the decks, put our brush ring on. Can you put the 15 inch head on that? No. Why not? No. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose you could. We're not selling it that way. But, but if, it's if the a same. Guy had, that's everything's true. the same. If a guy had a 15 inch turbo, and I'm going to say no only because we're not selling it that way. But if a guy had a turbo, 15-inch turbo head, what's to stop him? Really nothing. It's not like it puts out more water or recovers right. it anymore. Exactly. So nope. it just might be a little different to push. So, so everybody knows about how this yeah. works, your spinning spray and then yeah. your extraction ports. What's that pump? And then that is your pump out. So pump this out. is your pump out here, okay. right? Uh, it's a impeller style pump out where we can easily access that. Then you have your pressure regular regulator on top, okay. which will adjust our pressure from you know, 100 PSI all the way up to 1,000. 1,000 is tops on this? Yep. Okay. We have auxiliary vacuum and auxiliary pressure for, for running a, a hand tool or something. For a hand tool or running an edging wand. What's this? And this is just a cord holder. So uh, you've got your water connections coming in and then your two power cords here. Uh -huh. And then basically when they plug in. Oh, you would tighten this up on them to hold that, them in place? That just holds them in place, right? Okay. So you've got the two, doesn't matter which way they go, simple hookup. And then that's just a cord holder in place. Now, okay. um, on both machines, you have a circuit locator. So we're assured that we're not going to blow breakers because we're going to have a bright green light here. It tells us someone. That's good. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they have our our uh, meters on them, for especially in the commercial side. Uh, the weight on these is, is very light. We're at about uh, 105 pounds here. And 130 on the carpet machine because you have the the, the Haas gearbox. In yeah. There. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming there's a complete package price, and then there's uh, three individual prices. Yeah, you can prices. put it together uh, however you want. Uh, each machine will come with its own roller bag. Roll. Oh, I see. It's a okay. duffel. So yeah. It's a, it's a zip up roller yeah. bag with the telescopic handle. So each machine comes with their that own bag. vacuum thing. What the heck was that all about? Okay, the vacuum mandrel. The way this works is, let's say I want to run an edging tool. I'm going to take my cap off. This just stops the vacuum from going down to the head, oh. and now it's all here. I'll put my two-inch hose, put on my quarter pressure line, okay. connect it to my uh, Cobra edging tool, uh -huh. a Raptor edging tool, do all my corners and edges, my walls. Uh, so this is just auxiliary pressure and vacuum. Who came up with this whole idea? Was it like a rodents do the baker combination yeah. thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's it was more of a, uh, a Studebaker 
Um, of course, Mike Roden being the chief engineer for, for mm -hmm. Legend Brands, I had a big part to do with it. But he's given a lot of credit to the to Bill Bruders and uh, and, and Keith Studebaker. What's going on on are these scales? Okay, or, right. Oh, no, that's, oh, I see no, this, spray and, and exactly. Power. You got gotcha. it. So okay. um, in the commercial cleaning industry, diodes. there's a lot of um, uh, say it correctly now. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of language barriers there you go. <laughs> within the commercial cleaning industry. So I can clearly point here. Yeah. And spray. say water, agua, right? And then this is your rotation. Yeah. So what's important about that is we're going to do a, a usually both spray forward, then, then a dry. Let go, dry back. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what was the pricing? I think we. Uh, the retail on this is is fifty nine ninety five on the carpet, and forty nine ninety five on the tile machine, and twelve hundred on the portable water. Just put a coin dispenser on here so the kitties can ride it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But we are having a special right now where uh, if they buy uh, either machine, they're going to get the yes, portable free, water system free. free. Pony. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Thanks, Brian. All right. Good thanks, job. Mike. All right. Thanks, everybody. You bet. Like you sport.